All right, we are working right now with a cosine function, and we need to figure out what are the values for a, b, c, and d before we can answer this. Well, let's just think of a basic cosine function. A basic cosine function starts here, y equals the cosine of theta, starts here at 1, cuts down, goes down to the very lowest, and then back up, up again. And this period, or period length, is 2 pi. So let's keep all of that in mind. All right, so I'm going to get started right now. If we could take it and we could reset it to look like this, what would we have to do? Well, the first thing is I can see that this top part, this maximum here at this, lo at this location, um, is supposed to cross over the y-axis. And we can see it's been shifted to the left a distance of 1. That's called a phase shift, and that's this region right here. Remember, inside parentheses is always opposite of what you think. So instead of writing theta minus 1 because it goes to the left one, we're going to say theta plus 1. So this should be theta plus 1, theta plus 1, or sometimes we see it as x plus 1, and that means that c is equal to positive 1. It's because it's been shifted 1 to the left. It's high, so it's shifted 1 to the left. That's the, the first thing we're going to do. The next thing is we can see that this midline here, so think of this as the midline right here, occurs at 3. This midline occurs at 3. It's supposed to occur right here at 0. This is the midline that cuts this in half. So everything has been shifted up 3. And that's represented here and back with this D. So everything has been shifted up 3. So D equals positive 3. Now, the distance or the period, sometimes called the period length or period, is the distance of one cycle. And I think the easiest way to measure this is to go from one high point consecutively all the way horizontally to the next high point. So right here is at one, or at negative one, excuse me, and we're going to go all the way to seven. So negative one all the way to positive seven, that is a distance of eight. So this right here is a distance of 8, but what value goes in front here? So yes, the period is 8, but what value goes in front? Well, keep in mind that 2 pi, 2 pi represents what our period is for a basic cosine function. So for me to figure out what the b value is that goes right here in front, this b value that goes right here in front, I'm going to take and set um, 2 Oh, you guys can't see that. Let me zoom out here so you can see this. I'm just move this over. I'm going to take 2 pi, and we would always say take 2 pi and divide by the value in front of the x or in front of the theta. And in this case, it has to equal 8 because we know the period length is 8. So 2 pi divided by some value equals 8. Now, why did I choose 2 pi? Sine and cosine um, have a period length of 2 pi. Now, this has been translated, right? It's been transformed. Um, tangent has a period length of pi. So that's why I'm taking 2 pi and dividing it. Now I need to figure out what is this value. I'm just going to call this, um, for the purpose we're going to call this a question mark. So if I need to solve for a question mark, I'm going to take and cross multiply. So 2 pi times 1 is 2 pi, and 8 times question mark is 8 question mark. Divide by 8, divide by 8, and the value that I want to put right here is going to be 1 pi over 4. Or pi over 4. That's my b value, pi over 4. All right. And then the very last thing we do is we determine the amplitude. And that is the distance from the midline up to the highest point, and that's the a value. So from 3 all the way to 5 is a distance of 2. Or from 3 down to the lowest point of 1 is still a distance of 2. So in front is 2, and a equals 2. Now it says, which of the one represents a correct value for a constant? So is 1 represented? No. Is 3 represented? Yes. Is pi over 4 represented? No. Is 2 represented? No. Correct answer is D. So first we had to figure out what is A, B, C, or D, and then select one of them. Only one of them was going to be mentioned below.